This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in Greensboro, and I'll tell you about what's going on here in a second, but the concrete guys beat me there, and so one of the things we're doing for this job is we are replacing this patio. The patio right here is sloping into the walkout basement, and so once we started talking about the drainage work with the homeowner, he found out that we did concrete too, and so that's what we're working on right here. So let's take a quick look at that. They are taking the first load of concrete for recycling. So now that things are quieted down, let me tell you what's going on with this job. So take a look at this front yard here. We've got a bunch of standing water here when it rains and we have a bunch of standing water that sits along this edge right here this this front sidewalk and so a couple things we're going to do we're going to once the concrete guys are done here we're going to cut a swale right here and try to get this water to flow out of here we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to try to cut this down a little bit see how there's standing water right here and this area too <clears throat> and the homeowner doesn't think these corrugated pipes are working anymore so we're going to replace those with schedule 40 and we're going to come down through here somewhere this gutter also is a big deal so what's happening right now is water is sitting on this retaining wall and i'll show you here in a second where that's blowing out a little bit and so talk to the homeowner he said instead of trying to redo the whole retaining wall, if we can just get the water away and get it stabilized, he'll be in good shape. So we're going to have a swale cut through here as well. And you can see all the moss that just hangs right here. There's just a lot of water through here. And so the water coming off the driveway as well, we're going to try to get that sloping away with our swale. So we'll come through here, cut, grab this gutter, bring it through here get that gutter so that gutter water will be out of here we don't know where they come out so they're probably just underground somewhere now take a look at this retaining wall take a look along this edge here and you can see how it's 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 blowing out like that and so if you follow that that line of brick right there you can see that the retaining wall is blowing out by several inches, especially up here at the top. And so what we're going to do is try to get that water out of here and relieve some pressure on it. We're also, this is a drainage pipe for the retaining wall. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig all this out and just fill it with gravel. And that way any water that comes out of there can just flow through the gravel and hopefully alleviate some of the stress on that wall. In this clip, you can see just how bad that concrete is sloping into the foundation. getting this concrete removed here and you can see just how wet it is under here and this is because the concrete was sloping the wrong way into the foundation so it's a good thing this homeowner wanted to replace this patio because this is just problems here
Tony's trying to fix this area that we just dug up so that the concrete buggy can make it down here. So he's just trying to pack that loose stuff down. He, he just kind of regraded it a little bit. And that will let that concrete buggy get down through here, hopefully. Speaking of, This is probably gonna be my next purchase for equipment. This is called a concrete buggy or a Georgia buggy. And you gotta get one with tracks on it. But this thing, it weighs about 1,500 pounds and it can haul about 2,000 to 2,500 pounds. And so it's a lot lighter than my mini Bobcat and it can haul about three times as much. And it, it, the only thing is it doesn't load itself. So you have to load it with something but I think I may be getting one of these at some point. In this clip, we're getting everything formed up. One of the reasons I work with these concrete guys is because they get everything level and shedding away. So if you just come in here and pour a slab, it could be sloping into the foundation, and I see it all the time with brand new concrete. So these guys really know what they're doing. concrete just got here and they're adding some fast setting additive to it and so Tony's dumping that in there and then the driver will speed it up and get it mixed in there that'll help it set up faster with the colder temperature
we're still just running loads here and the neighboring car you see that car right there she just pulled in and we asked her to pull forward so we didn't splash her with concrete and she threw a little fit about it so neighbors sometimes you get good ones sometimes you don't The concrete guy has just finished with this pad and so I guess we're letting it set up for a little bit and they'll come back by and do some a broom finish on it but I'm not going to stick around for that so we'll, we'll be back here hopefully within a week or so doing some drainage work we are back out here on this job we did some concrete work I guess a couple weeks ago and we're back out here to do the drainage work so there's the concrete pad that Harvey and his crew poured and it turns out that this homeowner was is, is kind of like flipping this house he grew up in this house and he bought it from his parents and he's fixing it all up well it's been raining for the last couple weeks and so Ronald and I took on a bunch of uh, plumbing work here for the homeowner so we did a couple of shower diverter valves we set a few toilets we set a couple of vanities and hung some medicine cabinets and we uh, cleaned out the we, we replaced some of the stacks so i'll show you that in a minute but right now we're working on the drainage work so we've got a bunch of standing water here we've got a bunch of standing water here and so this can be really, really tricky. This is non-point water, so it's just water that's flowing down off this hill. So what I'm gonna to try to do here with the mini bobcat is I'm going to try to cut a little swale here down the hill just to let that water escape from here. And so if you've got water pooling here, you've gotta give it an escape route. So I think that'll work well for that. Over here, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I did put my level on this and it is falling that way. So I'm hoping I can just cut the tiniest, and we're going to get rid of these, these uh, timbers here, but I'm hoping we can just cut the tiniest little swale right there and let that water out of there. Okay. We're also going to catch this gutter and send it across here. And then like I mentioned in the concrete video, this gutter right here is a huge offender for blowing out this retaining wall. So. This retaining wall here, if you take a look, follow the line on the brick, you can see that the retaining wall is moved out on the top quite a bit. The homeowner said, you know, we, we don't want to rebuild the retaining wall, but we want to try to stabilize it. And so getting this water out of here is going to be a huge, huge thing for stabilizing that retaining wall. So we're just going to take our outfall somewhere here where this corrugated pipe is coming out and they've got this big natural area back here so that's what we're working on today
I wanted to show you what the installers of the previous system did here. They crushed this down, so that's going to restrict any debris that gets in there from getting out of there. That'll just catch everything. It's a classic bottleneck. We're going to cut that? I say so, yeah, we'll cut it. And then this guy's going to be so high, are we going to... We're going to put a, sh a, a short riser, yeah. Okay. Right there in a coupling. So, saw blade? How are we doing? Let's check. Some Full bubble. Oh, Full strong. bubble. Sweet. Good to go. Yep. This is the existing outfall, and I just wanted to show you all the water in this thing. You see all that water in there? And look at that. It's almost vertical, and it, all that water is being held in there. Look at how that holds water. That's why we don't use this stuff. Because it doesn't flow, it holds too much water. And that water was all leaking out into this ground here and putting way too much pressure on this retaining wall. So there's another view of it. You can see that it's, it's coming out like that if you follow that line on the brick. So we're trying to stabilize this. Another good indication that this wall is leaking is you can see the stains of dirt right here. So the water's landing in here and then running across this flat surface of the block and then it's just staining the each each block right there so another thing we're going to do here is it does look like they have a perforated pipe in the bottom of this, of this wall but it's all clogged up so we're going to dig this all out here and fill it with gravel and the hope is that that gravel will let the water flow out of here Go ahead. Oh, that wasn't flowing too well, was it? And that's probably why we have all this water sitting around here. You can see it keeps on. Oh, yeah. So that whole thing is probably pretty heavy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. For it to be this stuff, yes. Lynn wanted to get on the demo saw here and give it a try. So we're trying to cut this little, there's a little piece of concrete there, the new concrete that was just right in the way of the, the pipe. So we're trying to get that little corner cut off of there. But you can see that post is right in the way. You're right up against the wall, so the conditions were not too good. It was real cramped in there. So she gave it a pretty good try, but she ended up passing it off to me and I finished it up. I just pulled this piece of concrete out of here and look at how much water is flowing out of there. So I really think that this drain right here is not working and this retaining wall is holding a lot of water. So that's what we're here to do is to ease that water, give it a place to go with our trench here across here. We just got this pipe cut, cut out of here and it does look like it's flowing. So 
So the idea here with, with, instead of putting another pipe on here, I just want this whole thing to be full of gravel so that thing, so that can leak out of there. And we're probably, we're probably gonna cut down a little bit here too and make like a little gravel landing to make it look right. But uh, hopefully a combination of catching that gutter up there and getting that water out of here and alleviating the water that's building up here will stabilize this retaining wall, which is what the homeowner wants. How's it look? Yeah, okay. Yep. Lynn's using a piece of pipe in here to check the trench to make sure the trench is falling. All right, awesome. Yeah, we'll. I just got this little swale cut here and on the other side and we're bringing the dirt over to this side to try to build up a little bit and keep dirt or keep water away from that retaining wall. So we caught the gutters and got that water out of here but you can see this is a, a little basin right here so that's what we're trying to fix is get this, this water to shed out of here a little bit better. So luckily we had dirt coming out and we were able to put it back over here a little bit more useful. Can you get a scan? Put the piece of pipe, see if you're okay with that, or you want to carry it out further? Out further. Out further? Okay. Here we are on this side. We got this gutter caught. And we're just getting things covered up here. We had some kind of a cable there that we had to hand dig. And we caught that gutter as well, and we're just heading on down the way here. So here's our drainage for the retaining wall. I just ran the hose right there. And we've got water flowing out of here. So that's what it's meant to do, is just, is just provide a path of least resistance for that retaining wall so it doesn't hold water. That's cool. I am back out here on this job. It's been probably about a week and a half or so. So I wanted to stop over here and take a look and see how things were going. So take a look at what's going on here. This was that the front of this edge that I said was going to be really tricky. And what I'm interested in seeing here is I'm interested in this. So this water is flowing across here and it's ending up heading down there. So I think this swale that we cut was just enough to let that water out of here. Now let's take a look at the other swale. 
Oh wow, look at that. So there's always standing water here, just a puddle of water right here. And look at that, middle of the rain, and there's no standing water. So take a look. So this water is just standing, or is just flowing down through here. So look at all this water. And so, ooh, it's getting kind of wet and muddy here. So that's what we were going for, was getting the water off the, pa off the pathway there. So I'm really excited about this whale here. So again, there's a lot of water over here. And that's all the water that used to stand in the front yard there. Uh, looks like we may have a clog in that gutter too. So I'll have to tell the homeowner about that. Oh, look at this. Look at that outfall. Yeah, look at that. And it's not even raining that hard. So that is all water that was landing in the front and along the side that was giving him problems. Here's our patio that we poured and look how there's no water anywhere near. So that's a good sign too. We had the concrete guys slope this down a little bit more aggressively than, than normal because the homeowner never wanted to have to do this again. So I'm supposed to be bringing some more gravel over here. And I was out doing some quotes today and it just started raining. Whoa. I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, so anyway, I'm supposed to be bringing some more gravel to clean this up a little bit. But I'm very interested to see if there's any water that flows out of here after a really heavy rain. And so there's our second outfall right here. Now look at all the water coming out of that one. Let's see if I can climb down in here for you. Look at that. Now there's a lot of water. And so See all this debris that's coming out of here too? Look at that. That is uh, roofing, sh that's shingle dust right there. So this shingle dust, we already talked about this in my other video. This is what clogs up and gets, uh, gets, gets filled up within the ribs of the corrugated. So look at how this is just flowing through here like that. That's, that's awesome. Talk about a good photo op, huh? So I was, as I was saying, as I was saying, that is all water that was landing right up against the house here and was putting pressure on this retaining wall. So the fact that we've got all this water coming across here, and th this is only two gutters. So look at all that water coming off of there. That's all water that's no longer a problem. So I feel very confident that this is going to fix the standing water issues in the front yard and stabilize this retaining wall by, by carrying that, that water out of here, giving it a place to go.